All right, Axel's coat's a little harder to um, make smooth. I'm using an eight and a half. You don't have an eight and a half. You have a seven and you have a 10. I don't like using a 10 on the body. It's really, really close. Um, I usually use a seven like I did for Rose or I use a eight and a half or nine. I'm using an eight and a half here. Um, I like the nine a little better. It's a little closer, it's a little smoother. It's also maybe more likely to give you the clipper line. So I'm trying with an eight to see if that's a little better. So um, one thing you can do when you're trying to figure out this angle change from this way to this way, it usually happens around the neck and the shoulders and there's skin rolls there. It makes it a little tough. So if you straighten the skin, hold the skin up and make it a little flatter, it makes it a little easier to see in the little micro areas what I need to do to stay with the grain of the coat as I make the transition to, okay, now I can see the grain here is pretty much straight down. So I can do a longer stroke there and it's a little neater than doing a bunch of small ones. But in the transition areas where it's changing directions, you have to do small ones. Otherwise you end up clipping against the grain of the coat. Now I'd already done straight across the back here to about where, you know, he's got that black racing stripe back here. Just about at the edge of that, actually for him, is where it starts to turn a little to the side, starts to angle downward now instead of straight across. So what I'm doing there is I'm only going over a little bit of the new hair at a time. Say 20% of it is cutting new hair, 80% of it is on what I've cut already. So even if the line turns out to be not quite what I want, I won't have done too much with it. So if I don't commit to it too much, then um, you know I won't get as much of the lines if they are there. So squeezing the skin, pulling the skin tight, going a little longer distance, must have feel a little scar there. That often causes that kind of discoloration. Straight down the leg to the elbow. And now, pretty much made the transition a little at a time through the curvature. And now it's all just about down, straight down also. I'll do the rear separately. One at a time, right on down the body. Now, some lines have crept in there anyway. I've got a couple down here, it's pretty normal. Again, I can straighten the skin, that helps. But then I can also back brush wherever the lines are, and that raises the level of the hair again. And then I can go over those areas again now that it's back brushed and smooth it out even more. This is also what would happen if you did your, your pre-cutting and you did the best job you could before the bath, 
Then if you do the bath and then dry it real good, you'll be able to see more where the direction changes and what you need to do to address that. And, um, and back brushing then will help you get a really good finish. That's how I did it all the time when I was more of a novice. I always got my best results by doing my best job first, bathing and drying, and doing, doing my best job again. I always tried to do the, the best job I could. I always got incrementally better. So don't judge the result when you're at this beginner stage. You can take a look at where you improve what was easier in your technique, what was more comfortable for you, more comfortable for the dog. In the beginning, that's what you're getting good at at first. Then the haircut just comes with pressure. Okay, we got some, some undercoat in here. It's making this thick right here, so it doesn't want to cut very well, or not evenly, so I'm definitely going to brush that up. Go slow. Make sure the blade's on its fastest speed. And then little by little. Because sometimes if it's skipping over some hair, it means you're going too fast. Either for the speed of the clipper or the sharpness of the blade or something like that. Alright. And here at the base of the tail, a lot of times there's a lot of undercoat there. That might be a place you have to back brush. Now just do the same thing on the other side. 